Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I just had to make a quick video. As you can see, I am in a new atmosphere. We just made it to our new home and none of our furniture is here yet, but I had to make this video. So um, I just got a new product. It's brand new. It's one of their new release items and I was really lucky to score this. I actually scored it at the um, Paris airport, the Charles de Gaulle airport on the way here. So um, it's brand new to me. I haven't really had the chance to use it, but I did want to make a video um, to show you the different things that can fit inside and how people can use it. Um, do you have any idea what it could be? All right, I won't make you guess any longer. Ah, it's the Nano Knees. It is so cute and so little, but it's actually bigger than what I thought it was gonna be, but here she is. And just as a size comparison, let me grab the other Nano, or not the Nano, the other niece. This is the niece Mini and the niece Nano. So you can kind of get an idea of the different sizes. I actually did just use this for the first time traveling over here. And I, again, I picked this up <laughs> in mid travel. It was so cool. I went in and um, I saw that there was a store at the airport and I knew this before even traveling because I was looking for a um, agenda cover. So when I um, went into the store, I asked for the agenda cover, they didn't have it. I put my stuff down. I went back to my, um, at the gate. I left it with my husband and I said, hey, I'm going back to the store. I want to see if they have a T26 because um, I've had the opportunity to get two of them and I gave two of them away and I actually now want one to complete my set. I'll do a video on that later. Um, but, uh, so I asked them for it and they had it. So then I was like, you know what? Hey, do you know what I've been looking for is the niece Nano. So she goes, we might have it. She checked, she looked around, they had it. And after a little bit of conversation with the manager, because apparently I am on a, um, uh, like a reseller alert because I've bought so many items from so many different locations in Italy in a short amount of time, they flagged me. So she almost didn't let me have it. And after having to explain my life in like 10 minutes, um, they finally sold it to me and they let me have it. So long story short, the lady was rude, the manager was rude, but I got my items and the sales associate was really sweet. She hooked it up with a bunch of samples after and she felt really bad. But um, she, she gave it to me, so I have it. So I was really happy, I was really excited. <laughs> and I got this little cutie pie. So um, I wanted to do a quick what fits inside. Like literally, I'm so excited. We just, look at my face, guys. This is the face that's been traveling. We took a 20 hour flight and then did a 12 hour drive after. Like I'm exhausted. My body's not even on the same time frame. but I had to do it for you guys. I had to get it out there. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you some of these, what fits inside, um, what you can use it for, and you know, show you some comparisons because it actually fits a lot. So one of the first comparisons that I wanted to do, oh, and also before I get into that, if you guys want to see more content from my channel, hit the subscribe button. I need subscribers, guys. Hook it up so I can then buy more products to review for you. I also would love for you to like the video and leave some comments. I love talking to you guys. I love chatting. Leave comments. Do all that fun stuff. Do the stuff that you do on, like, those big subscriber pages, but just online. Cool, right? <laughs> so, this is her. This, for comparison, is the middle size, medium size Kirigami. And you can already see that it is a little bigger. Um, the Kirigami is a little bit longer. Let's do this. A little bit longer, slightly, and a little bit taller. Um, side by side comparison, up and down just so you can kind of get an idea. All right. So that can kind of give you an idea of the size that you're working with. Again, as another comparison, this is the Nice Mini. This isn't even the BB, this is the Mini. And you can see how it's pretty small. Um, so yeah. Surprisingly, I do have this full of stuff, so I'm going to see how much of everything that's in here can fit in here. 
Let's see if we can make it work, all right? So stay with me, and then that'll be the next part. Okay, so this is the um, Nice Min or Nano. Um, again, this one is a lot smaller. It doesn't actually have any pockets in it, like the, um, the Nice Mini or the Nice BB. All that came in it was this booklet. Um, and it was just sitting like this, like that. So this can also kind of give you a reference idea or size of reference to kind of um, see what can fit inside. But it is just a hollow shell. So I'm sure at some point someone's going to make an organizer to put in it. But I feel like if you do use an organizer in it, it's really going to minimize the amount of items you can put in. So first, I know a lot of people do not like to use these as an actual toiletry bag. They try and rock it as a purse. So I did bring some items that I thought could fit in there, or I wanted to see if it could fit in there. So let's take a look. The first thing is I don't have a card slot or a card holder. I just have the Victorine wallet as my smallest wallet. And I wanted to see if that would fit in there, and it does. So it fits in, there's space, it closes, it does all that good stuff. Now, on a normal day, I probably, if I was doing this as a grab and go, I would have the Victorine wallet, I would have my key, keys, wallet, phone, and I would have my phone. Now, I already know my phone wouldn't fit in here because I, even though I have an old phone, it's the S7, um, I believe it's still six inches long, and six inches isn't getting in there. So I would really just have my keys and my phone or my keys and my wallet in there. And then I might also have a hand sanitizer. Um, I'd probably try and get my coin first in there. And a lip balm always. For this one, I probably wouldn't use this lip balm. I would probably use the Honey Trap from Lush, but this is what I have on hand. I might actually have the Honey Trap in there. And maybe a lotion. So I would either try my Chanel. If I did, I'd just put it right on top, and I'd have to, like, squeeze it down to fit. But realistically, if I was going to have all that stuff, I'd probably use one of my Jo Malone sample sizes. So let's see if I can zip this bad boy up and how it would look. And I can so in there I was able to get a Empreinte clay, my Victorine wallet, um, my lip balm, a hand sanitizer, my coin carrier, and um, my Jo Malone lotion. So, but realistically, I don't think I would carry all of this. So, honestly, if I was going to take my key clay, and my key clay is full. It has my um, mini key fob in there and my husband's Harley Davidson key fob in here. So it's full of stuff. But realistically, I probably wouldn't take my wallet and the clay. I'd probably just have the clay and put my cards in there. So if I were to do that, I want to see also what else I could put. I could then probably put the Chanel lotion in there. Um, and maybe the small Kirigami as well. Yeah, and that all fits and closes perfectly. So you do have quite a bit of space, um, and then you do have some things on top. Um, this part is a little puffy, so if you do get it, it's not unusual. It's not. It's different than the niece. It doesn't have this little extra puff in between the canvas and the man-made material in here. But um, it's also really nice. Now, realistically, I probably wouldn't use this. I might actually use this for my card holder, and I would change my key, but let's say I didn't have that at all. Um, since I'm a little sick, I would actually do buy the Ricola. My Ricolas. And again, that all still fits in there, too. Um, but uh, I also, since I do wear lipstick, and once COVID's gone, I probably want to have my lipstick to refill in there. And that fits, too. So if you are going to use it as a little purse, it does hold quite a bit of items. It holds a few things that I was really surprised about, especially given the size of the two different items. Um, but that is how you could do that. Let me see if the gum would fit in here. Um, I do like the flat gum. Yeah, that fits. So maybe if I was being practical or trying to conserve space, I could do the gum, 
the keys slash wallet, the hand sanitizer, the lip balm, the lipstick, the lotion, the Ricola, and then the lotion. And that could all fit in there quite comfortably. Now, it does get a little heavy when you start to fill it up. On its own, it's quite, it's quite light. Um, when you do fill it up, it does get a little heavier. Right now, this isn't heavy. But you also don't have a lot of space to work with, so I don't see why anyone would really want to carry this as a bag or a handbag. I did see a video where a girl did hook a leather strap to it and she did rock it as a purse. It was really cute, but it was really tiny. And again, I don't think these are practical as purses because to open it, you have to open it wide. Everyone has to see everything. I don't know. I actually plan on using mine as a real toiletry. So let's see what it can fit in it makeup wise. Now I just traveled with the Nice Mini for the first time um, this past trip and it did really well. And this is it behind it. So this is all of the items that, well no, I lie. This is not all the items I had in it. I had half, I had more skincare items in it. So like my face wash, my cleanser, and like my things I would use on a daily. And a lot of this stuff was in my Truce 26. My Truce 26? Truce 25. Um, it's more of that, more of like the men's garment holder or like a toiletry bag. Um, but I've been rocking with that thing forever. So it wasn't the toiletry 26, but it was like the Truce. And so I decided to take everything out of that and put it in here just to see what exactly could fit in the Nice um, Mini or Nano. So, let's start with my essentials. So I have this eyeshadow palette from Too Faced. Um, it isn't large, but it has a six in there. This can fit. Um, I would definitely have my Breath of Fresh Air. Um, it can fit too. I'm not sure if I would put all this in there, but let's just say I'm going on a weekend trip. Um, and I wanted to see or take my essentials with me, so I would take that. I would definitely take, because I do have the two sizes of the um, Fenty lip, I would probably take the smaller one, but the larger one does fit as well. I do have my Milani red, I pretty much only wear red lipstick, red or burgundy, so I have that. I would have my concealer that I would put under my eyes if I'm wearing contacts. If I don't wear contacts, I'm not putting on any concealer. I do minimal makeup. I usually just do a lip, a mascara, and an eyeliner. Sometimes I skip the eyeliner. But if I was wearing contacts, I'd have that. I would have my, um, one of the many different liners. I'd have my mascara. I do go between the YSL and whatever this was that I think was got sent from, um, what is this, Marc Jacobs? I don't know. It's one of those ones that you get from, um, not, yeah, Ipsy. So that fits in there. Um, I would definitely have my sample pots. This is ocean salt and my sample moisturizer, so I wouldn't have to take my full size. That could go in there as well. I would have some blushes and bronzers, maybe. But again, with this COVID, it's so hard to tell because I'm not putting all this makeup on just to put a mask on and have my mask look all dirty. Like, that's a no-no. But I definitely would have this. If I have concealer, I would have my Fenty. This one is the highlight, but they didn't have my shade and a powder. So um, I do use this, and I would bring that as well. And these are actually the eyeliners I rock because they are black, and they fit too. But it is a little bit of a hot mess going on in there. So, just to kind of give you an idea of how it looks, it's not the most organized, and if this is going to bug you, then you might want to wait for an organizer, but just know that with an organizer, you're not going to be able to fit this amount of stuff in there. Realistically, it's just not going to happen, because um, I still have a space up top. And look, you guys, it's just closing. It's closing like a pro. And this is pretty much empty. The only thing that's left in it is my full-size Lush um, moisturizer, but that's it. Like, honestly, this is, it's just amazing how much it really can hold. If I really wanted to, I could do that and then maybe put some extras on the side if I really was 
having to be that extra. I could probably, you know what I'd probably do is if I did do that, I'd put my brushes. Because a couple of my, um, I would want to brush for my, uh, my, eye, my eyeshadow. Honestly though, I don't mind fingering it or... <laughs> I don't mind using my finger for my eyeshadow if I had to, but I would prefer to use the brush so I could do that and carry all my essentials inside as well. So you do have lots and lots of options with that little nano niece and it holds, it's so tiny, it's so tiny, but it packs such a big powerful punch. Um, so yeah again i don't know how this is going for pre-sale let me flip the camera around and we can talk a little bit more because i do want to share a little bit of the experience and maybe the prices and things of that nature and maybe even do a mod shot so you can see um what it would be like but don't mind me because i'm in my pajamas so no judgment here if i do do that okay one second so again this is a little guy it is still packed full of my stuff um, so I was able to, again, get this in the Paris, um, airport location. So I didn't even pay the full Euro price since I was headed back to the States. I had my VAT automatically deducted and I believe that brought this little guy to 435 euros. Um, in the store when I was talking to my, um, sales associate and I was asking her about ordering it for me, she did let me know that the price would have been 495 euro however i would have had to fill out the VAT form and then have to wait a few uh, weeks in order to get it back um but being that i did buy it in the airport it was automatically deducted and i think for this item it's a great price you really can get so much in it again um just to kind of give you an update on that experience that i briefly talked about apparently apparently there's so many things that you can do it's an internal quality control thing for um Italy, or not Italy, but for Louis Vuitton to help ensure that people aren't buying and reselling their items um, or replicating them. So if you shop at more than three locations, that sets a red flag on your profile. And I did because I did shop at the Florence store. I shopped at the Padova store and I shopped at the, um, the, Ven the Venice store. But those were close. Like they were close to me. Whatever. Anyways, and then I shopped in Paris. So they were like red flag number one. Second red flag is if you are buying more than six leather goods in a one month span, and I did do that, I bought more than six leather goods, um, or I think it's five small leather goods, so, or five canvas items, and I did that as well. And another flag was um, buying more than two of the same item, which I did do that because my mother and I are collectors, so sometimes there's things that she wants and there's things that I want. And she's my mom, so I'm going to hook her up with the best price. Come on, it's moms. You got to do that. Um, one day I'll be able to buy them for her. But until then, no, I hooked her up. So that's what flagged me. Um, and I understand that. The one issue I did have was with the manager's attitude and the way she came about it. She didn't say, hey, you know you hit our limit or you were flagged. She straight up told me she didn't want to sell me the product because she wanted to sell it to those who wanted to actually keep the item. And I looked at her like, are you serious? I want the item. I asked you for the item. I obviously want it. Um, so I don't know what that means. And she pr proceeded to kind of ask me a hundred questions. Why were you in Italy? Where are you from? Why do you live there? How long were you there? What are you doing there? just really rude questions without giving any background to why she was asking and it it was just a really unpleasant experience you could tell that a sales associate was embarrassed you could tell the other colleagues of hers were embarrassed because they were listening in and um it just wasn't professional it wasn't professional at all to say oh, i only want to sell these to people who want it and to tell me that i've been buying popular items um it's not a good look. Yes, I want to buy. If they're popular, of course, people are going to want to buy them. Um, and again, I've been collecting for over 15 years. So I do want those items in my collection that are popular because maybe some down, someday down the future, I may want to pass them on or I may want to sell them if they're no longer bringing me joy. 
but that's my business. I'm not trying to hurt the company or the reputation. And I understand that people have limits for their reason. However, they could be approached with a little more couth and tact and not the way that that manager did. So the experience in that store wasn't as good as it could have been. It wasn't horrible. Everyone else up until that point was extremely nice. So um, I did appreciate that. And after, you know, 20 minutes of exp explanations on what I was doing, I did get my bag. So um, long story short, I got my bag. The experience was meh, but sorry, I had to uh, switch locations because the sun was getting there and anything. But long story short, I got my bag. Even though the experience was kind of meh and the manager's approach to it was really rude, everyone else was very helpful. The sales associate was also very friendly and kind afterwards and you could tell she was still a little embarrassed so she hooked it up with like a plethora of samples. It was amazing. Um, and I still was able to buy the T26 and this little guy. So um, I know some people when I had shared it in a group that I am and they were saying, why did you even spend your money? I really wanted this. I had been looking for this since I saw it posted and I wasn't I wasn't going to be able to get it again in Europe because I, A, they're not letting, letting Americans back into Europe now. And B, I know I didn't want to look for it in the States because there's no Louis Vuitton where I'm at. So I would have to try and go to Canada, Canada's clothes. I'd have to do a lot of shopping around. And since it was right there, you got me this time, Louis Vuitton. You got me. So I did get it. Um, and I, I do love it. I originally wanted to use it for jewelry. I may use this as my new makeup bag in my purse if I'm going to be using either, I don't think I'll use my Neverfull, but if I use my Neverfull, I'll probably use that or I'll use it in my on the go. Um, or if I'm doing a really short weekend trip, I may take this instead of my mini. Um, but yeah, my niece mini. So there's a lot of things I may use this for, but it can be, it can hold, it can hold quite a bit. So I did say I may do some mod shots, no judgment guys. I'm in my jammy jams, but um, to kind of give you an idea of what it's like size-wise. So I know I'm kind of far away, if you can even still see it, but against the waist, if I wanted to hold it upright, against this, so you can kind of see. Again, um, if you didn't watch my last video on the... Felice, I'm about 5'11, 5'10, 5'11. I'm about 235 pounds. I have a 40 double D. I wear a size 16. Um, and I'm mostly leg because, again, it's here. But to kind of give you an idea size wise on someone of my stature, this is what we're looking at. This is the mini, this is the nano. Mini, nano. So I hope that helps some of you guys out with your decision on if you're going to want to purchase um, this item. I would say go for it. If you ha can and you have access to it, I think in the States it's $720. But if you had to choose between the three, I might actually just get the Nano because it holds quite a bit unless you're always using full-size items. If you do a full face of makeup every day, you're not going to want the Nano. You may want the Nano for something that you can do in your purse or on the go. Um, for reapplications, but um, if you're like me and you don't do a full face of makeup or you don't use full size versions of makeup, the Nano is perfect. The Nano is just, mwah. I love it. I could fit so much stuff in there. I could fit my makeup and my jewelry in there if I really wanted to. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, thanks for watching. Um, leave comments. Do you want one? Do you have one? What do you put in yours? Have you talked about ordering it? What would you want to put in yours? Leave all those things in the comment section. Also leave maybe what videos you'd like to see next because um, I do have a list of things that I'm going to be working on once I get my full studio up and running. As you can see, these are just some of the items I traveled with. I have a few more things upstairs and I have a lot of things coming this week and over the next full, full four or five, four or five weeks. <laughs> I can't even talk. Um, so when that happens, I'll have my full studio up and running and it'll look great. And again, the video should be getting better. Um, but yeah, leave what you'd like to see. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to be notified when I do make videos. Um, I'll be probably making a little more now that I have free time. So they may be coming out twice a week. I know I for sure I'm hitting at least once a week. 
at least once a week, guys. Hold me accountable. But if I can, maybe two times a week. Who knows? Who knows? It's a crazy new world out there. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for me, guys. Again, like I said, broken record. Leave those comments. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell. Hit the thumbs up. That helps as well. All right? So that's it. Have a great rest of your day. And, um, yeah, stay safe. All right? Ciao, ciao.